everybody, this is Corinna, and today I'll be showing you how I make a handwoven pillow. So these, these are all the yarns that I'll be using for this pillow. I wanted to use all white yarn with a lot of different texture. I think that would be really pretty for a pillow. So this is just um, a really fun project because I can... Um, just make up a lot of different designs that I want to use and be able to see in my pillow. So once I have everything woven how I like, I can cut it off the loom, pull all the threads off, and then we can start to sew up the pillow how we would like. Okay, so once we have all those threads off of the beater, we can just unwind that beam and see all the fabric coming off the loom. So we can just untie all of these knots that were secured onto this front beam, and then everything will be completely off the loom. So just go through and untie all of these knots. Now everything is loose and we can just slide that all off and take off the gray junk yarn too. So now we can just cut off this fringe that was um, from the warp and we can sew these ends to secure them so that they won't unravel and then I can just save these and make pom-poms with them or save them to re-spin up into new yarn. So I'll just put those to the side. And now we'll sew all four of the edges so that they won't unravel. I'm just using a zigzag stitch here, I think with a length of two. And just going back and forth on the very end to secure those threads. So once I've done that to all the ends, it's time to sew up the sides of the pillow. So we'll have the inside of the pillow facing out right now so that we can inside it out when we're done. So just line up the ends how you would like and start sewing. Try to keep the, this part really straight. You're not necessarily gonna follow the ends of your weaving because that can often be kind of wavy. So just make a straight um, sewing as you can along the line. So we got one side done, and then we'll just line up the other side to be even with the side we already did, and then sew up that side too. Always going back and forward um, at the end of the sewing just to make sure that that will stay in place. So now we have three out of the four sides secure for the pillow now. So we can inside out what we have. And then we can start stuffing the pillow and sewing up the fourth side. So now since we inside insided the pillow out, we have a really pretty, nice, clean seam on both of the sides of your pillow. So once you stuff the pillow, you'll just be sewing that fourth side up, hand sewing. It's the easiest, I think. And then once you have as much stuffing as you can stuff inside, 
you'll finish sewing to that corner and tie um, at least probably two knots, maybe three, to make it nice and secure. And then a little trick once you have your knot tied to hide the knot a little bit better, put the needle through the pillow a bit, pull that thread through, and then really tuck that knot inside. And then you can cut that thread close to where you had it pulled through and you can easily just tuck back in when you're done. So there we have it. This pillow is finished. 18 inches by 18 inches. Then I also made another smaller one to go with it with some of the extra woven fabric that I had. And it's a really pretty combination of both or keep them separate, whatever you like. Thank you for watching, and make sure to check out my website, kalumatextiles.com, Instagram, Kaluma, and both of these pillows actually are for sale, so if you would like to buy them, you can go ahead and email me at orders at kalumatextiles.com.